today I'm going to give a talk about true love and how it can influence on person and his life. So, have you ever fallen in love or have you ever truly loved? If yes, clap your hands. <laughs> okay, so I think this topic will be interesting for you. Have you ever thought about how excessively love has changed? In the past, there was an ocean of actions. Now it is only the puddle of them. So, uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky, in his novel, was describing a powerful love when his main character was ready to give all his money just to save his crush's family from poverty. He loved and he did it. So, or the most better example, I think, the Romeo, who just uh, was praying for Juliet's love under her windows, and he didn't give a thought about, about his self-appraisal. He was just standing there and praying for her love. So do you have such a male now who will struggle for your love like this? If yes, you are the luckiest person in the world. If not, let's try to find out why the time brought the will to struggle. So I was really interested in why people stopped acting and I held an opinion poll among men which demonstrated. As you can see, the majority of men, the majority of men, uh, start act acting because they think that there is another way of expressing feelings. The thing is that the internet appeared, so you don't have to take your bed of the sofa. You don't have to look in the eyes of your partner. You don't have to overcome yourself and make a declaration of love. You just sitting in the front of the screen with your chicken sandwich or can of cola and just type in your greasy hands, I love you, baby. Easier, right? But I'm not a judge or jury, but take my word to it. I don't think it's a highly doubtful proof of feelings. It's just like about running about your fears. 10 years ago, when I was seven years old, my aunt got a message on Facebook from one Armenian guy who lived in the USA. So he wanted serious relationships and his first message was, hi, are you Armenian? She said in Armenian, sure. And ne his next message was, I think you're an appropriate woman for my life. I want to have children and loving women on my side, so I think you're my cup of tea. To put it mildly, she was a little bit shocked, but it was too early to draw conclusions. He, they had been chatting and talking on the phone for three months, and then he made her a surprise. He bought her a ticket to the USA for holidays. By a twist of fate, they spent great time together and their hearts stung. So it has been already 10 years of their marriage. They have three children, business, they live in the USA and their life is like a fairy tale. So this story shows how internet has helped to find each other. But confessing and feelings like living in one city is out of the question. So why people say fall in love, not rise in love? Falling in love is like losing the connection with reality. You just dissolve in person and forget about everything except the perfect image that you created in your mind, not knowing the person very well. Fake love flashes as quickly as it disappears. Only true love is about appreciating your partner's soul, not appearance. And only true love is about caring not about your problems, but also about problems of your partner. So, by the way, do you remember the story about blind woman and his and her husband. Mm -hmm. uh, so Gora Vitisian is a makeup artist who regularly holds makeup classes. And usually the majority of her students are middle-aged housewives who just want to fine tune their makeup skills. But this one time, the class was attended by a man as well. And the new student, Andrew, was a gentleman in his best years with a seemingly boundless interest in makeup artistry. He was keen to learn everything he possibly could, and he wouldn't stop until he was satisfied with the result. So, <coughs> uh, speculations started to spread. Housewives just were thinking, is he probably a transvestite? Why else would he attend such a class? And when they couldn't hide their curiosity any longer, they finally asked him, why did he come? He gave the most beautiful and inspiring reply. He said, you know, my beloved woman just lost her eyesight. She's not able anymore just to put makeup on her face. I want her to put the best makeup in the world. And I think she's absolutely beautiful and I tell her every day. But the thing is that she 
it feels not comfortable to go out of home just without makeup. That's why I decided to make her a surprise. I want her inner beauty shine outside. So this, this story is an example of action, of rising in love. Unfortunately, the internet made us rid of necessity to act. It gave us an opportunity to say. That's why there are a lot of words and actions now. And this man didn't fall, calming her down, crying with her how their life had gone downhill. He just rose in love. So the question, is love a really important, love, uh, important part in our lives? My answer is yes. It's the base of everything. Makes us a better version of yourself. And also, it's, it's, it motivates you. And this is the most, what is the most important, it just makes you happy. When the person is happy, he just doesn't want to hurt somebody or do something bad. So being a good person and readiness for good actions are the consequences of true love. So to sum up, I want just to bring out that we don't know what is in store. Almost everyone can tell you I love you, but don't dissolve after these words. Just be on your toes, watch, and pay attention only on actions, not words. And then you will not make a mistake. Thank you.